Hello everybody, this is Jason, and uh, this is going to be another Off the Cuff, and uh, I'm going to talk about something I sort of mentioned that I might talk about eventually. Uh, I've been still basically sticking with musical topics. I've been thinking about venturing into other topics besides music, but I'm going to stick with music. Seems like you guys like it better right now when I stick to the newer stuff as opposed to the older stuff like I did at Nirvana Nevermind thing where I talked about you know 30 years of Nevermind and there was not a lot of interest so I don't know if it's because you guys already made up your mind about what you think about Nevermind or what but anyway that's okay you know not every video is going to be a winner I did promise though that I was going to talk about this album and I was going to talk about this band so, a while ago now, almost 15 years, really? Has it really been that long? I heard this band that kind of came out of nowhere that uh, released this album that was a really cool album, very jammy, very experimental, and it was kind of a weird, like, uh, what if Leonard Skinner meets uh, Pink Floyd kind of vibe, and it was a, you know, it was a cool band, and this album, to me, kind of came out of nowhere, and it was by this band called My Morning Jacket. Now, the album that originally caught my eye was Z, which is this album right here. Give me a chance to get a good look at the cover. And this was a really strong album. Uh, one of the better uh, albums I had heard in a while, and it seemed kind of strange because it almost seemed to come out of nowhere. Now... I've done some exploration into My Morning Jacket's catalog enough that I didn't really find uh, too many of their earlier albums that really grabbed me at least the way that Z did. The album that was Z's predecessor, It Still Moves, does definitely hint at what Z would become in spots. So, but Z was kind of, uh, Z was kind of its own thing up to that point. But I got interested enough in My Morning Jacket that all of their following albums I listened to and downloaded or, you know, played, bought. I actually own most of the post, I think I own all the post-C CDs at this point. But it was kind of a weird thing because they kind of didn't stick with what they did in Z. They kind of moved away. And they kind of started doing a little bit of a different style. And I gotta be honest with you, the different style didn't quite uh, excite me as much as what they did on Z did. And uh, eventually they got to the point where they released The Waterfall. And I gotta admit, The Waterfall to me was kind of a big miss and I didn't care. The band kind of drifted apart and disappeared for a while. And then eventually they did do a uh, reformed, uh, I think it was, they said in 2019, where they did some concerts together. And uh, the story of this album, the current album, which is the, the self-titled album, which is right here, which is just called My Morning Jacket. I believe this is actually probably their, I don't know, 10th album. They've been around for a while. And it's always interesting when a band decides to do a uh, self-titled album after they've been in existence for a while. Because, you know, most of the time if you're going to do a self-titled album, it's going to be your first album. Or if you do do a self-titled album, then you feel pretty good about the work that you've done. Uh, so, And I really feel like that's probably what happened with this album, because this is the best album by My Morning Jacket since Z, for sure. I mean, this has... Uh, the strengths of uh, Z were... is they had some great uh, kind of... Um, musical passages and sort of... Uh, the music moved around in very kind of like a... you know, there were some good psychedelic, jammy sort of sequences. And that's what this album does, too. Uh, um, Love, Love, Love is a strong song that has a great guitar solo in it. Uh, in Color 
uh, does a very good, uh, has a very, is very st stretched out and has a really nice jammy sequence in it. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that before we get to the end of this. And then, um, let's see here. And then I really like, um, let's see, where is that? Complex. That's one of their better songs. Uh, and this album, though, is really strong, has the things that I liked about Z on it, which is the jamminess, the experimentalism, and just kind of the looseness. The story behind this was is they kind of got back together and they kind of kicked everybody out that wasn't band personnel, and they kind of did this album as just the band unit without having a whole lot of outside influence which I think uh, probably was a good idea for the band at this time because maybe they needed to kind of... They obviously seem to have lost their identity a little bit, and I think that doing that helped them find their identity as a band again. Um, but this is a really good album. I like it a lot. Uh, it's uh, one of the best albums of 2021 for sure. Maybe the best album. 2021 has not been like an overly great year for rock records, so I will say that. Uh, now, My Morning Jacket has a kind of a reputation for being a jam band and for being kind of an improvisatory band. You know, they like improvisation. And I love that kind of thing. But we need to talk about the difference between a like improvisation versus like being a jam band. Like, you know, certain people, they love the Grateful Dead or like widespread panic or other bands that sort of follow into that thing. And I got to be honest with you, most of those bands, they don't really interest me because I don't smoke pot. And... Uh, I say this because they're not really true improvisation, per se. They just kind of uh, riff on an idea, like a musical idea, and then somebody plays an extensive solo over the idea. But there isn't any real movement in the music. I mean, if you really want to interest me in terms of getting into like an instrumental passage, you have to go somewhere with it. You have to get loud or get quiet or move in and out of an idea and like for instance in the song in color on this album they do a great job of you know they build it up they get to a really loud part they really start to it almost starts to fall apart because we got everything going off in all these different directions and then they sort of drift it back down and put it back together and they go back to the regular song it's the movement and the uh and the kind of like the conflict and the resolution that makes the songs interesting because you're not just staying in one place all the time. If you're just staying in one place all the time, that's not really real improvisation as far as I'm concerned. Improvisation should be that instrument, the people that are playing the instruments are listening to each other and they're reacting to what the other person is doing. So when the other person starts to do something, the other person reacts to it, and then the group gradually moves from one place to another place collectively. And that, to me, is an interesting musical experience, whereas somebody just uh, playing a, an extended solo over a vamp, which is just the repetition of the same part over and over again, really isn't that interesting. So... That's why, that's where I would distinguish between like a band that does improvisation, which is My Morning Jacket when they're at their best, versus a band that does, you know, jamming like somebody like Widespread Panic, where they just don't really go anywhere with it. I'm sure there's plenty of you that are going to hate me for this, I understand, but uh, that's my opinion, take it for what it's worth. Have a great rest of your day, everybody, and thank you for watching.